Hello and welcome boys and girls and grown-ups as well. Welcome back to my channel. Today is Sunday, August 19, 2018. The date is important. I am in Southampton and behind me you can see Queen Mary too, just turning around to be able to leave the port. So let's look closer very quickly. Right now, she is about to set sail on her eight-day voyage to New York. Yes, she. When speaking about a ship, it is always she. By the way, nowadays, Queen Mary II is the one and only ocean liner in the world. All those other big passenger ships are holiday cruise ships. Yes. Queen Mary II also makes holiday cruises. However, Southampton, New York is a line transport. It is very well known due to the story of Titanic. Yes, her maiden voyage was from Southampton to New York in April 1912. Yes, yes, we all know what happened. But that's a different story. Different from Titanic, Queen Mary II completed her maiden voyage successfully in January 2004 from Southampton, but not to New York. The point of destination was Fort Lauderdale in Florida. Have you ever been thinking about how much does it cost to build this big and luxury ocean liner? Well, Queen Mary II cost 550 million pounds, which is about 700 million dollars. That's a lot of money. And what about Titanic, the biggest and most luxury ocean liner of her time. Well, it cost $7.5 million back in 1912. Today, it would be approximately $175 million. Wow! Instead of one Queen Mary II, they could have built four ships like Titanic. Mm, that's very interesting. You already know that I like traveling very, very much. Now I will tell you a secret. I am planning to make a trip aboard Queen Mary II from here, from Southampton to New York and make a very special video for you. So, let's check out the cabins. I mean, uh, they say Queen Mary II has no cabins. There are just staterooms and suites there because they are so big and comfortable and luxury. Meow. Just a formal reminder, all pictures of cabins, I mean staterooms and suites, are a copyrighted material of Cunard Line. This company was founded by Sir Samuel Cunard back in 1838. It's a very old company. So, when sailing from Southampton to New York with Green Mary II, you have quite a wide choice of rooms. You want to travel on budget? No problem! The cheapest room you can have aboard Queen Mary II is the standard inside room. 
With this room, you keep the cost below one thousand pounds, which means below thirteen hundred dollars. Well, I think it's quite affordable. If you want to keep your budget somewhere in the middle, you can choose a balcony suite for about two thousand five hundred pounds, which is about three thousand two hundred dollars. What? You say? You ask for more, for much more. Okay, let's have the best of the best. The Queen's Grand Duplex. More than two thousand two hundred square feet of absolute comfort and privacy. Yes, it goes slightly above the budget. But it's definitely an amazing experience. They charge almost nine thousand pounds or eleven thousand dollars. It is approximately nine times more than for the cheapest standard inside room. Do you like these ocean cruise ships? Have you already sailed aboard some of them, or even Queen Mary too? Maybe you live at the seashore, and you see these ships almost every day. Let me know in the comments, or send me a message. Anyway, I guess that for most of us, sailing aboard these big ocean cruise ships is not an everyday experience, and therefore I want to make that special video for you. Sharing my experience of sailing aboard Queen Mary 2. I will be very happy to hear from you, boys and girls, and grown-ups as well. Write me in the comments, watch my videos, follow me on the Book of Faces, and see you very soon in my next video. Cheerio!